Hello boys, welcome back to another session of video tutorials and this session is meant for class 12th biology boys and this is for 11th February 2021 as all of us know we are into the revision mode and we are revising the entire syllabus in the form of sample papers, CBSE sample papers for your batch particularly 2020-21 batch and uh, we have already solved three CBS sample papers and in this session today we are going to go for sample paper four and as I have been telling you keep a separate notebook and write all the sample papers in that book so the general instructions you know because already we have covered in the last three sample papers so I will go straight and uh, the only emphasis is section A and as I said out of 70 marks 22 marks are only from this section so you need to give a lot of importance to this so here we go question 1 at what stage of life oogenesis is initiated in human female when does the oocyte complete oogenesis Question 2. What is trophectoderm? Question 3. A diploid organism is heterozygous. Now, keyword heterozygous for four loci. How many types of gametes can be produced? Question 4. Name a oral pill. Now, remember oral pill used as contraceptive by human females. Explain how does it prevent pregnancy? Question 5. Provide an instance where the population size of species can be estimated indirectly without actually counting them or seeing them. Methods. Question 6. Name the type of cross that would help to find the genotype of pea plant bearing violet flowers now the cross next question seven write the scientific name of the organism that Morgan used for his linkage experiment question eight name any two physiological barriers that provide innate means by birth immunity by birth question nine name the cry genes that control cotton bollworm and corn borer respectively. Question 10. Name the scientist who were awarded the Nobel Prize for discovering the potential of penicillium antibiotic. Okay, penicillin, penicillium. Question 11. Assertion, reason type, assertion. An organism with a little Mutation. Mutation is sudden change. Okay. May not even develop beyond the zygote stage. Reason. All types of gene mutations are lethal. It, no, it is not. No. A. The assertion is true statement but reason is false. B. Both assertion and reason are true and the reason is the correct explanation of the assertion. C. Both assertion and reason are true, but reason is not the correct explanation of the assertion. D. Both assertion and reason are false. And as you must have guessed, question number 11 has got a choice, internal choice, assertion. The cross between red and white flowers bearing snapdragon plants results in pink colored flower, incomplete dominance. Reason. Incomplete dominance of red and white Flower results in pink colored flower. A. Both A and R are correct. B. The A is correct but R is incorrect. C. A is incorrect but R is correct. And D. Both A and R are incorrect. Question 12. Assertion. There is a time lag between the infection and appearance of the first symptoms of AIDS. Reason. This period may vary from few months to many years, as long as 10 years. A. Both A and R are correct. B. The A is correct, but R is incorrect. C. 
both A and R are incorrect. D. R is correct but not explains the A. Question 13. Assertion. Genetic map, genetic makeup of an organism or individual lies in the DNA sequence. This is genetic makeup. M-A-K-E, you make it. Okay. And reason. If two individuals differ, then their DNA sequence should also be different. A. Both A and R are correct. B. A is correct, but R is incorrect. C. A is incorrect, but R is correct. And both A and R are incorrect. Question 14. Assertion. The pattern of species diversity on Earth is not uniformly distributed. R. Species variation is generally highest in the tropics and decreases towards the poles. A. Both A and R are correct. B. A is correct, but R is incorrect. C. Both A and R are incorrect. D. A is incorrect, but R is correct. Now, question number 15. This is the new type of uh, question. A paragraph will be given on a concept and there will be five questions. You need to answer four. This is four marks. Question number 15. Okay. Next, 16 also four marks. So, case-based questions carry four plus four, eight marks. Here we go. Question number 15. Read the following and answer any four questions. But we will answer all the five for you. The size of a population for any species is not a static parameter. It keeps on changing in time depending on various factors including food availability, predation, pressure and reduces weather. The changes in population density give an idea of what is happening to the population whether it is flourishing or declining. The density of a population in a given habitat during a given period fluctuates due to changes in four basic processes two of which contribute an increase in population density and two to decrease. Under normal conditions, births, deaths are most important factors influencing population density. Ideally, when resources in the habitat are unlimited, each species has the ability to realize fully its innate potential to grow in number as Darwin observed while developing his theory of natural selection. Then the population grows in an exponential or geometric fashion. Now question 1. Which of the following would necessarily decrease the density of a population in a given habitat? So factors affecting population density. Natality or mortality, immigration, emigration, C mortality, D natality. Question 2. Which of the following factors has a negative effect on the population growth rate? Immigration, immigration, natality, none of these. Which of the following factors influence population density under normal conditions? A. Deaths B. Immigration C. Immigration D. Both A and C Question 4. Which of the following equations correctly represents the exponential population? Look at that. There are two curves. We are talking of exponential population growth curve. Dn by dt is equal to Rn. B. Dn by dt is equal to Rn within bracket k minus n by k. C. Nt is equal to n0 e rt. D. Both A and C. Question 5. Diagram based. In the given population growth curve, K represents this one, this horizontal line, okay. Population density at time t, intrinsic rate of natural increase, carrying capacity, none of this. Of course, you know the answer. Question 16, again 4 marks, read the following and answer any 4 questions. Pollination is the transfer of pollen grain shed from the anther to the stigma of the pistil. Flowering plants have evolved an amazing area of adaptation to achieve pollination. There are three different kinds of pollination. Pollination within the same flower that is self-pollination. 
Some plants produce two types of flowers, chasmogamous and cleistogamous. Another kind of pollination is the transfer of pollen grain from the anther to the stigma of the same plant or another to the stigma of different plants. Various agents are used in pollination. Pollination is carried out by wind, water and animals. Now the question. Pollination which is achieved with the same flower is termed as autogamy, xenogamy, zetanogamy and none of these. Question 2. The abiotic agent of pollination is wind, water, animal. D is both A and B. Abiotic. Okay. <clears throat> Question 3. Which of the following features should be present for wind pollination? Wind. So here you need to understand. Non-sticky and light pollen grain. The long stack of flower. Colorful flower. None of this. Question 4. Wind pollination is common in Vallisneria, Hydrilla, Grasses and Jostera. Last question, assertion and reasoning question. Cleistogamous flowers are invariably autogamous. Has no chance of cross pollination landing on stigma or pollen landing on the stigma. Cleistogamous because it is a closed one. Reason, cleistogamous flower, this closed flower, produces assured seed set only in the presence of pollinators. A. Both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion. Both assertion and reason are true but R is not correct explanation of the A. The A is true but R is false and both the statements are false. So take a notebook and start answering and... Uh,